after preparing the sample stub, we mount it on the sample holder. This is the sample holder. It has a platform to hold the sample stub that can be rotated up and down. The notches on the rim give an estimate of the depth and each notch corresponds to about half millimeter depth. Now the stub is mounted on the sample holder using the special tweezers. This is the calcium carbonate sample. We have to make sure that the top of the mounted sample must sit below the lip of the sample holder to avoid damaging the machine and the sample. And we do that by adjusting um, the height, rotating the rim. And once the top of the sample is below the lip of the holder, the sample holder rim is rotated four more notches. You can see the notches on the rim here. So we rotate four more notches to lower the sample to the optimal viewing distance. So now this is ready. The settings on the sample chamber show yellow light and unlocked sign. The chamber door is lifted and we see the grooves here in the slot. The sample holder is inserted into the microscope using the grooves in the slot as the guide. It should be pushed into the slot gently until it stops by the back of the slot. The green light on the front of the SEM indicates that the sample is loaded correctly. And now it is in the locked position for imaging.